we thank God for his goodness and his mercy. Blessing us being the servant one more time. I realize there's no goodness of my own, but it's the mercy of God. Somebody said mercy is so great. What return can I make? Can I pay for it? No. But I love him and I will serve him for as long as my life shall endure. Praise God. Thank God for blessing me to be in this stand one more time. Not by choice, amen, but the mercy of God. Tonight you'll find me in the book of Hebrew. For a little while, not be for the long, praise God. Hebrews. The 12th chapter. Yeah, chapter and beginning at the 12th verse. Yeah. Hebrews 12. Beginning at the 12th verse. Let us read together for you. Wherefore, lift up the hand which came down, and the feeble knee, and may straight past your feet, let that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it well be healed. Call people call men, the Lord is without no man to be the Lord. Look in diligently, Let's any man fail the grace of God. Let any root of bitterness bring up trouble, and thereby many be defiled. Let there be any fornicator of profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he saw it carefully with tears. And then let us pray. Dear Lord, we come again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your word, of God. We ask that you speak the word, of God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, give us such a heart to receive your word with gladness. Bless him a special way, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to read again <clears throat> the 16 and the 17. It says, Let there be in form of Taylor, a profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat so is birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Praise God. Though he sought it carefully with tears. Amen. Tonight I want to talk a little bit about Esau. We know that Esau was a twin brother to Jacob. Amen. But Esau sold his birthright. He being an older brother and he sold birthright for one morsel of meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For he went to the field one day and when he came back, he didn't kill a thing. And he was hungry, praise God. And when he got back, Jacob had a pot of red meat. All right. Chicken, and smelling good. Yes. All right. Amen. And Esau was so hungry. He said, give me some 
or what you got in the pot. Yeah. Amen. 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 And he said, I will, but give me your birthright. All right. And he went on to say, well, if I die, this birthright ain't going to be a thing to me. All right. All right. But the birthright represents something. Yeah. Praise God. All right, sir. We find that Esau, you know, we sometimes call ourselves after the spirit of Esau. Because a lot of times we want what we want right then. We don't care what the price of it. Amen. But we want it right then. It seems so good to us. And it looks real good. And it's so tempting. It's so enticing. But I, I just got to have it right now. I don't want to worry about the birthright later on. Praise God. So Jacob gave him what he wanted. And a lot of times when we look at the things in our society, uh -huh. when people are saying that anything goes, uh -huh. and you can still be saved. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Right. And they say you can do this, uh -huh. and you want to lie, you want to swear, and you can commit fornication, uh -huh. you still make it in. Yeah. Because they say, well, I got a plan of time. Yeah. Right, as Esau thought. All right. And as he saw his birthright, uh -huh. I believe it was about 13 years later, All right. Come on, right. his father was getting blind. Uh -huh. Amen. All right. But during that time, his father made a statement. He said, what I want you to do, the same thing what he had did before when he got rid of the birthright. Uh -huh. I want you to go to the field and kill something and bring it on back. Uh, all right. <laughs> for a time for me to give your blessing. Yes, sir. And you know, we miss our blessings so many times by not going the rest of the way. Yes, I believe the thing this week is that hold on. It don't matter how hard it may seem, but you got to hold on. Praise God. And so when he went to the field, Jacob's mother heard the conversation. And she said, Jacob, come on, prepare yourself. For your father is blind. And he get ready to give the birthright. Or oh, the blessing away. Amen. And so then he said, well, I'm, I'm, worried, I'm not an identical twin. Praise God, because my brother, he's red and he's very haggard. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And his clothes smell like clothes of animals. Yeah. Because he's a man of the field. Yeah. And so then she said, well, let me worry about that. Yeah. You just come on. Get the pot and fish the meat. Yes. So he began to fish the pot of meat. Amen. Amen. And while he was gone, he saw, All right. All right. praise God. All right. So he began to fill him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and began to feel Harry. And then he came close to come close to me. Yeah. He began to kiss him. Yeah. He said, you smell like you saw. Yeah. Praise God. Yes, sir. So he blessed him. Yeah. And in that blessing, yeah. when his brother came home, right. he found out that the blessing was gone. All right. All right. Amen. All right. So when he came home, yeah, yeah, yeah. he said, here, I got the food for you. Yeah. And his father again said, well, who was that? I just gave the blessing away to it. He said, it must be the old Jacob again. Praise God. And he is so triggery, now he done got the blessing. 
saying that it was right for Jacob anyway, because Esau had sold it to him. See, a lot of times we think we can have our ice cream and cake and eat it too. Praise God. A lot of times we think we can do what we want to do and still make it in. And still have the blessing of God. Praise God. But in that blessing, was spiritual things. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. It was not the natural thing. Yes. Praise God. Yes. For God had promised that he would bless his seed. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. So he thought he cried. Yes. And he cried. Yes. And he went back to the father yes. and said, give me a blessing too. Yes. Yes. He said, I don't have a one. I have a one. <laughs> And I gave that one to Jacob. Yeah, right. See, in those days, he was the elder to receive the blessing. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. It was not so much what the, what the natural song, the natural blessing. Well, Praise God. Then we were all would be in trouble today. Yeah, yeah. Everybody who came through the line of Esau, they would be in trouble. Yeah. Praise God. But God was talking about the spiritual blessing. Yes, that seed. Yes. Amen. Amen. So when his brother came back, his mother told him, said, Lamb, you got to flee. Yes, sir. Until your brother cool off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to leave town, son. Yes, sir. And she went to her husband and said, Now, you done gave him the blessing now that you got to talk to him. Amen. And he told him where to go and find her wife. For he couldn't find, get no healing wife. Amen. And he saw seeing that he didn't like for him to have a healing wife, so he went and got him a healing wife. But he went on down and got him a wife. Praise God. But I want you to know, on the way down, the sun was coming down. Yeah. And he began to say, well, I'm about to stop here yes, sir. for the night. Yes, sir. I'm about to get some rest, praise God. Yes, sir. And as he began to get ready to prepare himself yes. to go to sleep, yes. the Bible tells me that he went over and he picked up some stones. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he began to lay those stones down side by side. Yes. And he laid them there for a pillow. Yes. For to sleep on. Yes, sir. Amen. And the Bible tells me that long by and by he began to go to sleep. Oh, yes. And when he went to sleep, All right. he had a dream, oh, praise yeah. God. Right. And the Bible tells me that when he was, was dreaming, uh -huh. yeah. that was a ladder that yeah. was ascending up into the heaven. And said there were angels descending and ascending. And said God was standing right at the top of the ladder. Praise God. And he tell me when he woke up, he began to say, God was in the place. And I can tell you. Hallelujah. I tell you when God comes into your life, you can tell it. Nobody has to tell you that God has been in your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. So he went on down, amen, and got in the wife. And after so many years, he began to come back. Praise God. And the same thing began to happen to him. Praise God. You know, I was talking to one of my, my, my friends, he's here tonight. And he, he always teased me and said, Look here, now you don't have any son, man. I tell you, so a few years from here, somebody said, Well, where is all the car? <laughs> I, I began to let him know I said, brother, I don't have to worry about that no more. Yeah, yeah. Praise God. Right. And as Esau began to, Jacob began to come back, and he the Lord began to bless him, and he wrestled with the angel all night. Yeah. And began to break up day, he began to say, well, I'm not going to turn you loose uh -huh. until you bless him. Yeah. And the Bible said he asked Jacob, so what is your name? And he began to say, my name is Jacob. He said, I'm not going to call you Jacob no more. I'm going to change your name to Israel. From this day, your name will be Israel. Israel means blessing. See a minute, praise God. Hallelujah.
see a seed yeah. had to come from Israel. Yeah. Amen. And I heard the Bible tell me that unto us a son yeah. is born. Yeah. And it said to Mary that and his name shall be called Jesus. For he shall save his people from the outset. You see, Jacob, Esau, gave up his birthright. And that still didn't help him none. But I'm letting you know tonight that you got to get a birthright. And the only way you're going to get a birthright, you got to be born again. Amen. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. And he said, Rabbi, Master, we know that you're the man of God. For you can't do all these things except God be with you. And Jesus didn't tell him nothing. Never said, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit. He cannot see the kingdom of God. And the only way we can get our blessing is to be born again. And our blessing don't just go to one person, but the blessing go to as many that believe. One right in the day and say, praise God, repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the remission of sin, and you shall see the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Now think about how that Joel prophesied. Amen. And he told us that your sons and your daughters yeah. shall prophesy. Yeah. Amen. And he told us that above all flesh, he's going to pour out his spirit. Yeah. And tonight you have the opportunity yeah. to receive yes. that spirit, praise yeah. God. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to get into the kingdom of God. Yeah. You got to have that breath right. Yeah. When you got that breath right, yeah. we have the right to the tree of life. Yeah. It doesn't matter about my name. Yeah. It doesn't matter about nobody's name. Yeah. But Lord, you got the name of Jesus. Yeah. You can make it. Yeah. For one out of that, we love now you the sons yeah. of God. Yeah. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. Yeah. But we know yeah. when he shall appear, yeah. we shall be like him, yeah. for we shall see him yeah. as he is. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. We love now we sons of God. But it does not yet appear what we shall be. Praise God. It don't matter what name you got. Praise God. But you can make it in. Somebody asked Jesus, said that was a man, a woman that married, and she had seven husbands. You know, and they all died. Now I want to know when she get there, which one? Come be a husband. All right. But Jesus would get and let them know yeah. it ain't gonna be no matter to give them the marriage to the yeah. God. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. And we ought to be willing to receive our blessing right now. Yeah. One right said blessing is the man that walked at night in the council of yeah. the ungodly. Yeah. Lord, set it in the sea uh -huh. on the skull. Yeah. For his delight is in the law of the Lord. Then his Lord does he meditate both day and night. Therefore, he shall be like the river, like the tree that planted by the river of water. That shall not be moved. Amen. And you get Jesus in you, you better stand. When the wind comes, you will stand. When the storm comes, you can stand. Praise God. You'll be just like that tree. That plant by the roots of water. Yeah. And we ought to get our blessing. Uh -huh. We ought not to take no chances. Amen. Say it our way. Right. A lot of times you talk to young people, you ask them, well, why don't you come to get saved? Yeah. Why don't you give your life to the Lord? Yeah. Now, you know what that answer will be? It said, I'm not ready. Yeah. I'm just not ready now. You know, when you look at the, the time, the signs of the time, yeah. praise God, you wonder, well, what it take for them to get ready? Right. But they like to be cool. Amen. All right now. 
They like to say, I got it going on, whatever that means. <laughs> but we need Jesus. Yeah. Because if we keep waiting, we're going to lose out with the Lord. For one writer said, Behold, I show you a mystery. But we shall not all see. But we shall be changed in a moment and in a twinkling of an eye. So it's time for us to get ourselves together and receive the blessing of the Lord. When we receive the blessing, we can praise the name of the Lord. When we receive the blessing, we can magnify his name. We will not be ashamed to praise him. We will not, not be ashamed to, to lift up his name. Therefore, we can magnify him wherever we go. So a lot of times when we are around other folks that are not saying, we don't want to praise the Lord. But he said, you be ashamed of me. I'll be ashamed of you. But we got to praise him. Somebody said, bless the Lord. Hold my soul and all that was in me. Bless his holy name, for he has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. I want to pray when nobody else prays. I want to magnify him. So he lifted me up one day from sin and sand. He lifted me with tender hands. He lifted me. That's why I got the whole. Yeah. We got to bless the Lord. We got to receive our blessing. And the only way we can receive the blessing is to be born again. Born again. Amen. 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 We got to be born again. Amen. There ain't no way around it. No way. No way around it. To receive our blessing. We got to be born again. But I will bless the Lord at all times. But his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for his goodness, for his mercy. For God is good. You know, we need to take the word because we don't have a whole lot of time. We think we do. We want to put it all and think we're going to get it later on. That's what Esau did. He won't worry about the, amen, the breath right, right there. But some 13 years ago, he thought he wasn't getting it. Amen. I'm imagining he was telling, saying to himself, I got it now. I got the breath right now. Praise God. But it was not so. And the Bible went on to say, God hates Esau. And he loved Jacob. Yeah. You know, if we don't make it in, God going to hate us. You hear what I said? If we don't make it in, God going to hate us. Right. Because if he's going to love us, he'll take us all in. Yeah. But no unrighteousness no shall inherit the kingdom of God. Yeah. Amen. That's how he's going to hate us. Yeah. Amen. The Bible let me know that some of us come to the Lord and say, Lord, then we cast our demons in your name. Lord, then we heal in your name. Praise God. But he will say, depart from me. My God. It seems like, you know, if I do a lot of good work for the Lord, he'll go on and accept me. But no. He said, depart from me. You work us. Of iniquity. Yes. Amen. Be popular. I know you not. I don't know you. All the work that they did. That's why about the search the scripture. For in them that think that they have eternal life. Them are they that testify me. They talk about my goodness. They talk about my blessing. See, they think they got a blessing, but they don't. When Jacob came back, he began to offer Esau some of what he had. He said, look at here, the Lord has blessed me while I was gone. And I want you to have some of this. Esau said, no, I got a pen. I don't need yours. 
You know, and when we think that we got a plenty of the world, we don't need the Lord. But we need the Lord. Yes, Amen. Call we got a, a, a little bit of material thing. That doesn't mean that we can make it in. That doesn't mean that we is all right. And a lot of times we look at the church across, across town and say, look at the people that they have. And say, they must be right because they got so many people. But I'm here to say, you know, the Bible said that damn the road comes. Yeah, yeah. But I'm believing so. But the highway of righteousness yeah. that will travel every night and day. So it's not the number. Yeah. A man like doesn't consist of the thing that he possesses. Yeah. Praise God. Jesus told a man that. Said, I'm not a, a judge to divide what you have. Sure. Amen. I came to seek and to save that which was wrong. Hallelujah. I didn't come to be a judge to give you material things. Praise God. But we hide up on material things. Yeah. But Jesus in the same business. And the only way you can make it in is you got to get that breath right. Huh? When you get the breath right, you get the blessing. But the blessing come along with it. Therefore, we can be born again, baptized in Jesus' name, receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! And then we can praise His name. And then we can magnify His name. And then we can give the glory. And then we can give the praise. Hallelujah! The blessing of God is a spiritual thing and not a natural thing. Praise the name of Jesus' name.
Because they are our closest friends, we go to school yeah. together, we live in the same neighborhood. Uh -huh. We don't want to be uh, talked about, we don't want to be ridiculed. Yes, Certainly we don't want to lose friendship. All right. Right. Yes, but that cause we have a tendency to side with our young people. Yeah. Amen. Have a tendency to take the way that they are taking. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Even though we have been taught against that way. All right. Right. Even though we know that it's wrong. Oh. We have a tendency to forsake our teaching now yeah. and go in the way of that person. Now, Amen. We have a tendency to let them deceive us. That's oh, right. Lord. But the Bible lets us know, be not deceived, but God is not lost. Amen. Amen. Whatever so is man sow it. That shall be also real. Come on, preacher. We are in a state today where we have to stand up for the truth. Now, we are in a place today where the truth is being preached. Amen. Amen. And people are also preaching lies. Amen. People are saying anything, trying to deceive the people of God. Amen. And the Bible lets us know that you have to stand fast. You have to know the truth. Amen. But the truth will set you free. Amen. If you're living to be free tonight, seek the truth Amen. and pursue it tonight. Amen. If you want peace in your soul,
be going your way. We have, right. as young people, we have the tendency to think that everything should go like I want. Should go oh, yeah. I'm young and I have plenty of time. Yes, sir. If I don't do it right this time, I do another time. All right. But here, again, we don't know the time. No, sir. Amen. Nor the hour. That's right. That the Son of Man shall appear. Amen. No, sir. That's why the Bible lets us know say, work. Why is that? All right. All right. But night coming. No way. And no man can work. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 We have a charge today to go on with Lord. this work. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. It's a beautiful work when you consider count up the call. All right, sir. A lot of times we don't count up the call. Amen. Yes, we don't count up how Amen. we're going to be ridiculed. Really we don't count up the fact that we might be talked about. Yes. We don't count up the fact that our friends might not love us. All right. All right. Our loved one might cast us aside. Yes. We might be the outcast and the scum of the earth. Yes. But the Bible lets me know there were some men on the day of Pentecost mm -hmm. All right. who began to wait on the promise of God. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. As they waited, yes. Yes. the Holy Ghost came in like a mighty rushing wind. Yes. 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 And you know the story how they waited there and they began to do. Yes. As the Holy Ghost moved them to do yes, yes, And the people down below said, these men are crazy. Yeah. They're drunk. All right. They're acting foolish. That's right. But a man of God stood up and said, they're not drunk. That's yes. yes. right. Yes. Yes. All right. But this is it. the third hour of the day. All right. Yes. These men are doing according to the prophet Joel. Yes. 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 But the Holy Ghost, yes. what you see today, right. yes. is what has come. Yes. This is that. Truly today. We can continue to work. Yeah. We can continue to work because the Bible lets us know I call the young because they're strong. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to use this time while you're young. Yeah. Right. Don't let it pass away because there are going to be time that God will tell you that your eyes is going to go dead. That's right. That's right. You can't read the word of God as you so Go ahead, sir. Your limb is going to be getting hurt. Yeah. And you're going to have pain. It's yes, sir. Hurt you to move. It's going to hurt you to yes. yes. But if you got the word of God down in your heart, and say, your heart. That word of God have I hear yeah. in my heart yeah. that I might not sin against you. Yeah. This is what's going to keep us up. This is what has drawn us into this thing. Yeah. The word of God. Oh, Somebody yeah. say, I heard the word and I hardened out my heart. All right. I walked in the word. I'm abiding by the word. Thank it you. had not been for the word, Christian. All right. I'm not here today. No, no, no. But thank God for the word. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got to continue the word. Yes, sir. Uh, continue. And we have to continue to work out our own soul salvation. <coughs> yes, sir. Now, when you begin working, going on a natural job, there are, that first week, as our pastor was saying, I think it was last week, mm -hmm. you go on now with a promise. Mm -hmm. The man says that, well, if you work for a minute, you got the job. You already got the job. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to work. You got to yeah. work. And you got to work free. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Yes, sir, I know it, what you're talking about. It doesn't sound like it's free when you first start. It sure don't. Because you're so anxious to get the job. Amen. Oh, and you yes, feel sir. that I can do the job. <laughs> yes, sir. Ain't no problem. I know this trade. That's yes. right. And you go on the job, you begin to work those days, and along by the middle of the week, you might get a little tired. Thank yeah. you, yes, sir. But you remember the man made you a promise. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm going to pay you. Praise God. This is the same promise that we have today. Yeah, amazing. Right. Jesus said, go into my vineyard and work. Mm -hmm. Whatever your hands right to do, you do that. Right. It doesn't make any difference that they're challenged to doing it too. You work on the side. We have a problem with seeing sometimes a working on the side. Go ahead. This one is doing that. I ain't going to do it. I want to do something else. I don't want to do what he's doing. I want to do that. But the Bible lets you know that we are apples on one another. We got to work together. Yeah. Praise God. We are all many members. Yeah. We are one body. Right. Right. And we are working for the same crown. Praise Brother Joe God. can't get a separate crown in me. No, yeah. So the face can't get one separate yeah. Yeah. But we are all working for the same crown. Right. And it doesn't matter if she started before me. Amen. So Amen. the face has been in this thing for quite a number of years. Yeah. And she's not going to get a separate crown with me. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Amen. I'm going to get a crown for the work that I do. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible lets me know that don't let your work be in vain. Yeah. Whatever you do, do it heartedly. Right. As unto the Lord. Right. 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 We're doing judgment work. Yeah. This is the charge that Paul was giving Timothy. Yeah. Son, don't look at the hard faces. Yeah. Right. Don't look at the people when they're really right. young. Right. When they think about your youth and despise it for your youth and say all things against you, you stand fast. Yeah. Right. You stand your face like flint. Yeah. Right. You go ahead and preach this gospel. Yeah. But the gospel will set them free. The gospel will give them liberty. Yeah. The gospel will bring them free. Yeah. Yeah.
just as well as he does when you're old. What he said in his words, some of little children become unto me. That's what he did in mind. But such is the kingdom of heaven. We have to become humble as a child. Please God. And if our ways please the Lord, then we'll be able to say, the Lord, I thank you. When you walk according to the will of God, you have a satisfaction down with me. But you say, Lord, I thank you. Not that you have done everything right, but Lord, you have given me another opportunity yes. right. to do that right that I've done wrong for the first time. It is a privilege, it's an honor, it's a great deal. 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 Truly tonight, you have that opportunity. And it's up to you to ask the promise to God for every one of us. Amen. As it is, not as a collective future, so to speak, but each and every one of us has to make a commitment. We have to come and say, Lord, I will. Lord, I'm willing to pay the price. I'm willing to make a sacrifice. Whatever it takes, Lord, I'll go and do what you would have me do. Amen. You'll pray for me. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord.